y'all just in there with Cookie Couture Atlanta. It's a Sunday in the A. It's beautiful. I had some people just stop by all of a sudden, kind of, sort of. I don't know. I ain't really know. But we ready to throw some stuff together because I can't let anybody come by and not get put something in their mouth. I want to do it to you in your mouth every time you come around. All right? What? I want to do it to you like that so you always remember me like that nigga. <laughs> she cool. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn the camera on and I'm just going to do my thing a little bit and um, maybe we'll have some kitchen conversations, maybe not, but um, I'm going to figure out something to cook for these people. Else I wouldn't be who I am, you know. I'm the hood Martha Stewart. I'm the uh, <laughs> I'm the one they told you about. You know, I'm a sleeper. I'm the one they warned you about because you look and you don't expect that motherfucker to be so cool. <laughs> Take you off your rocker. But anyway, all right. So what did I find? I found some chicken thighs, but I only have four chicken thighs. I gotta try to make something. Make some magic. And anytime you want to make magic, the first thing you want to start with is a cast iron skillet. That's going to make it magical right there off the rip. Okay? So, you want to heat that skillet up and get it really hot. I'm going to put some grapeseed oil in it. I'm going to season up these chicken thighs. And we're going to throw them on the grill. We're going to get some grill marks on them. And then we're going to throw them in the oven and let them bake and see what's up. All right? Okay, now I did just that. I seasoned up them chicken thighs, honey. I did a new little creation. I took, of course, my garlic powder, some Creole seasoning and some blackened seasoning and some fresh ground black pepper. Seasoned them jokers up real good. like. And then I put some buffalo wing sauce on them and I put some sugar-free barbecue sauce on top of it. And I was feeling real good about it. Cut up some uh, three colored potatoes and some onions and um, threw a little extra garlic in there. You see oil in a hot cast iron skillet it was all I needed. Okay, now I didn't go too crazy with my sugar-free barbecue sauce. Neither did I with the buffalo wing sauce that I put on it. I was really feeling it. I love the grill marks that my cast iron skillet gave. The grapeseed oil was hitting on point. I was really liking it and tossing it. And I didn't cook it really, really fast, I don't think. Okay, so I added some more potatoes. I'm loving the way this looks. These are the chicken thighs. I added some more potatoes and some more onions. I seasoned them. I put this um, hot sauce, it's zero carbs. You know, I'm totally on like watching my carbs right now. So uh, I put this buffalo wing sauce and then I put this zero carbs, sugar-free uh, barbecue sauce on top of that. But listen, this is gonna taste so good from the seasoning and everything. You want to even notice that you don't have the sugar in the carbs. Mm -mm, this fine, I don't even see the sugar in the carbs in this. So, we're gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna put aluminum foil on top of it, put it in the oven for 20 minutes, and then it's gonna be a wrap. It's gonna be a done deal. Ooh. All right, look, so we, we threw those chicken thighs in this cast iron skillet. I cut up some potatoes. That's all I had in the refrigerator, some potatoes and onions, and I have a few peppers in there. And we seared it on both sides because it's a cast iron grill skillet. And then we put it in the oven with two pieces of aluminum foil on top to like basically smother it, you know? All the potatoes are soft. Oh uh, yeah, it's ready. And then this chicken, look at this chicken. This chicken is like fall off the bones, tender. Mm. And we ready to eat. All right, let's do it. Let's be impressive, goddammit. When I tell you that I am popping my virtual collar right now this chicken was the bomb and listen in a pinch you trying to put some stuff together throw everything in the skillet shoo quit making all them different dirty dishes and making all these different throw the potatoes and onions and everything all in the same skillet it was amazing it was delicious 
Okay, get you a cast iron skillet now and stop playing. Also, get you some little small tasting plates. You don't have to feed Jokers no whole buffet. This was perfect. Thank you. Now, let's make it happen.